for the first time in history, nine Ghanaian players will be battling it out in the English Premier League. What does it mean? This is the first time that Ghana has the largest contingent of African players in the world's most watched league. Let's have it here. Andre Dede Ayu, Kamaldin, Suleimana, Antoine Semenyo, Jordan Ayu, who has the most goals in, in, in the Premier League, 30 for Ghanaian players. Also, we've got Jeffrey Schlopp, who has the most appearances for Ghanaians, 226. We've got Tariq Lam to the picture. We've got uh, Arsenal's um, Thomas Partey, who is in the running to win the Premier League. Also, among these players, only Jeffrey Schlopp has won the Premier League before, and then Amate has won the FA Cup. Now, we'll be focusing on these nine players, particularly because a lot of these players find themselves in clubs fighting to avoid relegation. Now, tonight, to bring a lot of perspective, we've been joined via Zoom by Raman Osman, a UK-based Ghanaian sports journalist. He's a chief football writer for London Road. Hello, sir. Good evening. Welcome to News Tonight, live on GH1 TV. Hi, thanks for having me. Now, um, we understand you are at Stamford Bridge where you'll be watching the game between Chelsea and Fulham. Now, first of all, no Ghanaian there, but how will you assess the performance of Ghanaian players in the English Premier League so far? Well, it's easy to assess the performance of Thomas, isn't it? Thomas Partey has been really good, hasn't he? Um, I'd say to a lesser extent, Daniel Amati has been incredibly good also, especially at a time where Leicester needed him and he played recently and his performances were good if i'm not being extra hyperbole on it and he, he took that to the world cup and had a really good world cup then Tariq lamte struggled to in it but every time he's got a chance to play he played incredibly well also so it's 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 it was quite promising and i mean we all also knew sally who was incredibly good for southampton even though they're struggling and He's represented himself well. He's played quite well, given the, the way his team is incredibly poor. And, yeah, it's it's been decent. I mean, it's not... It's I don't think any players played to the level of when Michael Essien used to be at Chelsea. Exactly. Because I'm incredibly about Chelsea at the moment. And every time I come to Chelsea, I meet some of the people who've been here for the past 20 years, and they, they speak about how incredible Essien was and when he played here and all that. But it's good to have him a number of young players also taking the brave and bold step of coming to play in the Premier League. Um, well, three new players have joined them. Okay. Antoine Semenyo joining um, Bournemouth. Andre, are you returning to the Premier League um, to join Nottingham Forest? And also last come out in Suleimana joining uh, in Southampton from Rennes. Now, what are the expectations for the new Ghanaian players coming to the Premier League? Yeah, I think that Antoine Semenyo is been really good for Bristol. He he was really good just a few months before the World Cup, and then he had an injury, exactly. and then his performance came down a bit. But at that time, he had already done enough to, to to attract some of the best teams in England, and he was being talked about going to Palace and Bournemouth. Even Forest at a point in time were really interested in him, and it's quite interesting that he goes to Bournemouth. Bournemouth, it's it's an interesting club. There's a chance that he could go down to relegation. Exactly. But what that, uh, what that also means is that he's going to a team who have a long-term project for him and a team that kind of plays this kind of football because I struggle to understand what his, his strength is. is. Is he a number nine? Is he a winger who likes to take on players? True. And played very well for Bristol when he was scoring a lot of goals. But I'd like to see more from him when he's not scoring, if he's assisting or creating a little bit more chances. And also his movement and the speed of his thinking is... It's quite really aspects of his game where he can develop. And I think the Premier League, as you rightly said, is the highest level of football in the world at the moment. And so it will be interesting to see how he adapts. And then Andre Ayu, Ayu is, is easily for me, having known him and watched him from 2008 when he first came to the national team. Exactly. I've never seen a player with such such strong mentality like Ayu. And I've seen some of the difficult periods of his life, like when we played at the World Cup and he missed a penalty against Uruguay, and he got taken out, and I was in the mix zone when he came out, and the first thing he did was he practically collapsed into my hands, and he found out that his daughter had also collapsed, and maybe two months after that, he had a chance to, to stay in Qatar, and he, he says, no, I want to come back to the Premier League at the age of 33. It's quite incredible to, to, to move back to a very difficult league at that age, so See if indeed he still has the legs to be able to play actively in this league. But it's good for Ghana. I mean, nine players in the Premier League. There's more visibility. There's more competition. And if, if they can play really well, and and I mean really well, it could reflect in our national team 
which is which is looking like it's on its knees at the moment. Well, you've spoken about Semenyo at, at length. Now we are seeing Kamaldin Suleiman enter this um, Southampton team, who have bought uh, Paul Onuachi, who is a Nigerian from Gang. We've also seen um, Mislav Osage. What do you think Kamaldin brings to Southampton, especially as they are battling relegation? Yeah, Kamal for me, and I'll say this, Kamal for me is more talented than Kudus. When Kudus first moved to Europe, a lot of people were excited about his, were as excited about his potential and how he played and everything. But when Kamal took the chance to also move to France, I thought he was going to have the same impact as Kudus had in Ajax. He's had three injuries. Exactly. So it hasn't quite worked well for him. True. And he's been brave. I like the fact that he could have easily stayed in France when the opportunity came for him to go to Southampton and he's taking the chance to go to Southampton to play in a league that's much higher than the French league in a team that is incredibly struggling and might go down but he's taking that leap of faith and what is going to happen is that he's going to be given a chance to really express himself and you would never know with stuff like this if he does really well it's another opportunity for him to go to a big level Southampton has always been a club a lot of African players when they first moved to the Premier League. Sadio Mane took the chance to go to Southampton. And, After and two seasons, he then went to... And I think if there's a player who is part like Sadio, he's come out in very direct, and oh, okay. to run in this development he can do. And so, the hope is that he can make the difference okay, and keep okay. them up and progress his career. Okay. Well, um, unfortunately, we ran out of time, so we cannot uh, explore the other perspectives. Hopefully, they will do the other Ghanaians who escape relegation. Thank you very much, Raman Osman, a Ghanaian um, um, uh, sports journalist who is based in London. Um, that's all the sports for now. I'm using